Howdy folks, T-Biz here, and man, it's been a crazy Saturday, dude. Get to, got to review some musculoids. Once again, thanks at uh, Honfish underscore Z for that. And um, yeah, now I've got my Conan the Barbarian. This is the iconic movie, uh, one of the movie Conans. But I think this is him posing with the sword and stuff like that in the movie. Uh, Super 7 Ultimates. So yeah, this is one of the first uh, Super 7 Ultimates I've ever picked up. So yeah. Um, not sure. I think the Four Horsemen scoped to this. I'm not sure. I might be right. I might be wrong. Anyways, I'm being ignorant. But uh, yeah, like that's not a first. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's check this guy out. Alrighty, we already got this uh, kind of. It takes me back to the Maddie Collector days, pretty much. Oh wow, this is nice. This is nice. Got this from Big Bad Toy Store. It's like sixty something bucks, I think. I can't remember. I just clicked. I was like, they got it. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Oh, that's a nice uh, little slip cover thing, man. It feels leathery, but it's not. It's like, it's like uh, pleather, paper, leather, pleather, cardboard, pleather. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, that's cool, man. Look at this sword. Wow, that's rad, dude. So I think this is a sword he found in that king's tomb when he uh, when he's like running from the wolves or whatever or some coyotes or wolves or rabbit dogs or something and he falls in this uh cave thing and he finds this like entombed uh king or something and he finds that sword so this might be that from that actual sword i think if i'm not wrong coming out of the barbarian that's rad dude it's all embossed and everything this is cool dude cool oh wow wow this figure looks really awesome dude that's cool this figure looks doper than what you would see on the um Super 7 Instagram post and what you've seen on the Big Bad Toy Store uh, ad for this. This is sick. Wow. Here we go, man. Conan, as a young child, Conan is sold into slavery after the evil warlord Thulsa Doom destroys his village and murders his parents. The intense slave labor makes Conan strong and he is eventually sold once more, forced to fight as a gladiator. Conan Conan's fate shifts when his owner decides to set him free. With the painful memories of his childhood burned into his mind, Conan sets off across the prehistoric landscape of the Hyborian Age in search of the man who killed his family and stole his father's sword. Good old, he's gonna kick old uh, Snake Man James Earl Jr.'s. <laughs> or whatever. James Earl Jones. <laughs> I say James Earl Jones. Uh, anyways, I'll shut up. Let's get this. God. Ultimates, man. First ultimate. Hopefully, my second one will be coming this year too. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy out. And <laughs> James Earl Jr. That's funny. Anyway, here we are, folks. And hey, if I get anything wrong in this video, son, don't you ever dare question my love for Conan because there's a lot more where this stack came from, son. So don't even go there. If I get something wrong in this video because I feel like I feel like we might get some snippity snippies uh, checking out this review <laughs> but anyways this is awesome man this is a really really cool figure yeah this is a really nice figure man really digging them really digging them it's cool you got the once again some wind, more windswept hair this weekend <laughs> I like the paint apps I like how the body looks it's really nice the way they did the paint apps pants look cool you got a well it's kind of stiff oh man that's pretty stiff ab crunch right there i don't know how that's gonna get loosey-goosey or what but man we're gonna play with this guy so yeah he's gonna be cool you can almost do splitsies swivel some swivel action kind of well can't really tell i don't want to go too nuts no double knees or anything like that you got your ankle pivot and rocker and all that swivel so that's cool. No calf cut or anything like that. By sweat, by sep. <laughs> and yeah, shoulder and all that. Forearm. I don't think that. I don't think. Yeah, you just gotta. Yeah, no swivel right there. Just uh, up and down. Swivel and a hinge on the wrist. Head goes side to side. Looks down a little bit, but not much. Hmm, okay. Got that cool necklace. Reminds me of the 
chaos symbol or whatever. Actually, one of my tattoos, if I can even get that on cam, I don't even know if that's able to get that on cam. But yeah, like I got that from, I think, Michael Moorcock or whatever, the chaos emblem or whatever. But um, yeah, totally looks like that. Um, cool, man. I love his uh, wrist gauntlet things. All that leather. That's cool detail on that. That's sweet. He comes with another necklace. I haven't watched the movie in a while, so I know this has got to be from part of the movie. So somebody chime in, Ultra Conan nerds. So let me know because I forget. I haven't seen this movie in a while. I need to watch it. But um, yeah, this is rad, dude. I love this figure. It's cool so far, man. Sword's rad. This thing is huge. Seems kind of a little thin and a little bit almost translucent right there. Because you can kind of... Oh, oh. It's not bad. It's a little, I don't want to say it's gummy, but it's a little, hmm. Looks cool. The paint apps, like the hilt and stuff and pommel and all that looks pretty cool. But the top's a little flimsy. If I'm going to be that kind of honest review dude or whatever, it seems a little flimsy. So you might want to take care of that. And But the rest of the sword from here to there, it's all pretty, pretty nice, pretty stiff piece. But yeah, really detailed. I love the paint. That's cool, man. Really nice detail. That is sick, man. Comes with extra hands. So he can um, pimp slap some fools. Or he can just play some basketball or something. I don't know. That is cool, man. Cool hands. Dude, maybe we get an iconic pose going on. That's rad, man. That's cool. That's cool. So let's see what we can do with this guy, man. Oh. Conan, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of the women. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome, man. Had to do that. Totally had to do that. But yeah, here he is with his uh, gladiator head with the little headband and stuff when he was like the pit fighter guy. That's cool. That is sweet, man. The rad, dude. I'm so stoked on this figure, man. I have I have a couple Arnie figures, but not a lot. But yeah, this this one is uh, this is gonna take the cake, man. This is gonna be super enjoyable for quite some time, dude. I'm really really stoked, man. Really stoked. And here he is in his iconic pose. Super awesome. And yeah, I know it's not perfect, but hey, I mean, at least you, yeah, you can. You can pull it off it works i accidentally put the wrong necklace on but be careful when you do pop uh his head off because this necklace is pretty gummy and it, they're both pretty gummy they could fly off and uh into your abyss your personal abyss and um yeah if you have dark carpet yeah trust me it's hard to find this thing again but yeah the will of death will of death necklace anyways but yeah this is a rad conan figure i'm so stoked to have him dude really am really freaking am because this is just uh really cool we got to do some uh, good old size comparisons real quick let's go ahead and uh, here's him with the uh, he-man with classics he-man so i think um if you stand him up i think classics he-man might be a little bit they might be around the same size i feel like he's a little bit taller though um yeah give me a second let's go ahead and should have done this beforehand but oh well it is what it is Go ahead and stand He-Man up straight. I feel like He-Man's a little bit taller. Or they might just be around the same. Same-ish. But yeah, I feel like the the bodies are a little bit different. Maybe He-Man's chest is a little bit more. Might be a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like the same body in some ways. In some ways not. In some ways yes. I feel like the torso's chest might be a little bit different compared to He-Man and Conan for sure. And there goes the necklace again. Anyways, be careful for those necklaces because they, they do fly off and stuff. Anyways, yeah, really, really cool. I guess we could go ahead and get old uh, Windswept uh, Adam out for another little comparison. The origins or whatever. So, yeah, there you go. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And here he is next to uh, Mythic Legion's Orc Lady. So, there you go. That, that helps you out with size comparisons. I think that works just fine. Super awesome. Anyways, thanks for uh, tuning in, y'all. This is a rad figure. I'm super stoked, man. Super stoked. Let's, uh, before we end this, let's see if we can get another killer pose out of him. Either way, I'm super stoked that Super 7 put this figure out. It's awesome. Too bad I don't have the other movie figures because I think they go for a lot of money. But yeah, this 
Really, really cool. Awesome Conan. The barbarian figure from the Conan movie. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all, and hopefully more reviews coming up uh, sometime soon. Yeah, y'all have a good night. Peace.